chain designs you guys haven't already seen. We got this Armageddon ZL1's brand new ZL1 Camaro 2017, hot red, car's gorgeous, and uh, we have it in. We're going to do some paint protection on some areas, and we're going to add a custom accent. So we're going to get started here. We're going to start cutting out the, uh, the pre-cut kits. Um, the areas that we are covering is the front bumper, side rockers, um, and part, partial of the side door, pretty much all your main strike areas. Before we get the expel in the cutter, we have to run a small little cut file for some blue line Punisher skulls. About to run it right now. It's reading the registration marks. Should be no time. Cut file is looking perfect. Well, let's go take a look at the car. Just actually stopped raining, thank God. So here it is, the hot red 2017 Camaro ZL1. With a sweet aggressive looking front bumper. God, I love those headlights. Nice carbon fiber. We are going to put some Expel on the front bumper, on the front splitter. There's actually a piece for this. The only thing that we don't have a piece for is in here, which we might end up making our own. Not sure if we'll have time today, but then there'll be a nice piece that goes over here. Um, another key area, side splitters, and then there will be a piece that runs right along this body line. So, this piece will get done, and then we're going to make our own piece that covers this whole area. This will get covered, and then last but not least, we will cover the side mirrors. Um, one of the, my favorite features about this car has definitely got to be these wheels. I don't know what color that is, but man, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous. I want to say like titanium color. Okay, we are about to cut the first batch, which is the bumper. Oh shit, look What's who up? it is, sneaking <laughs> in here. That's right. Voila. Here we go, front bumper cutting. Hopefully we're running straight. Yep. Golden titty. So what's up, man? Nothing. This thing. Yeah, dude. Gotta love technology. Seamless cut every time, huh? Yep. Expel has the best cut files, I swear. They are on point. I mean, everything. They factor in everything. Every nook and cranny, every bend, every everything. It's like insane. Three gauge. Where are they out of? Yeah, Curtis Five. does. Oh, so they're close. Yeah. No reason. Anything, pretty much all the main things, you know, like if you, if, I mean, the cross boost, it'll read PSI, boost, it'll read, it has like analog, usually it'll have some analog inputs for like air fuel ratio. Nice. Um, it'll do 0 to 60, 0 to 100, 60 to 0, 0 to 140, stuff like that, you know, cool like performance time. So but it'll mo monitor everything, it goes through your OBD2 port, so whatever you're, whatever you can monitor through that, it'll monitor. So it plugs in, just simple yeah, like that, plug and play. Plug and play, dude. Oh my These gosh. Modules, and you're saying this is the first prototype? The very first one. In fact, I got to call the guy and make sure everything's good for the car. But Congratulations. Yeah, dude. I got one on my, my other ZL1. It's sweet. Dude, here's the cool thing about it. You got to find out the best part about this gauge. They buy stock air vents from all the cars and they put their gauges in custom. So this wow. is going to go right in where my air vent is. Dude, that's pretty, that's pretty impressive. And it still works. The air vent will still work then. See how it's like... It'll go around, yeah. Yeah. That's pretty there cool. And then that's the screen. Yep. They, they machine all their gauges. They're all the same, and they just put them in different car, like different um, vents. But first of all, you saw my air vents. See yeah. how crazy they are? Yeah. Dude, they had a ridiculous time trying to do this, but they did it. 
fucking looks fucking awesome. Look at that. So now, yeah, you're going to install it and then you're going to give them feedback, right? Yeah. Give them a little testimonial. Give a little secret test and then I'll do a video on it like on my channel. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Come up. Oh, we even got a sticker. Oh, I'm putting that somewhere. All right, this thing's done cutting. Back to work. So here is the secret custom work that we are doing to Nick's Camaro Z01. We're gonna murder out the top portion of the rear bumper, which is the deck lid area on the trunk. So it'll actually look pretty cool. We laid knifeless tape down, and then we're gonna blend it. have the paint protection all installed. Um, we even added a cool little accent piece here in the rear. It's finished. It turned out great. We're actually going to think about leaving the bow tie off and we'll see what Nick says whenever he comes and picks it up. What we're going to do now is we're going to pull it out, let it bake out in the sun. There you have it, she's outside. Hopefully you get some sunlight. There it comes. All right, so we got Nick here from Guitar uh, Guitar Again and ZL1. Uh, we just got back from the tire shop, which he went to Daimler's Tire Service, which is five minutes up the road here. Got some new fatties put on the rear. So why don't you go ahead and explain what you had to do to get those All on All right, there. so I wanted to mount the same side. Well, I wanted to mount tires on the stock rims because I'm taking it to the drag strip today to uh, hopefully set a world record on the fastest stock quarter mile. But what happened was when we mounted these drag radials, they ended up rubbing on the uh, inner uh, fender well here, the wheel well. So 
we had to get, I had to get these quarter inch spacers and if you come in here, you can actually see, if you zoom in there, you can see they're basically, they're universal spacers and you just pop them on the lugs and then, then you pop the wheel back on and that's, and you're pretty much good to go, but. Where was it rubbing? It at? was rubbing in the front here on like the opposite side of the tire. So it would like okay. hit the opposite side of this in the front. And that was it. And it was only rubbing on certain like planes, right? It wasn't yep. rubbing all the time. So I was like, quarter inch did it. Nice. But it actually makes it look, how it sits it out. Nice too. Nice, you went with that. I see you went with the Nittos. Very yeah. good. Dude, I bought those tires in December and planned to put them on this car. Is it the same? Uh, in December? Yeah, dude. I've had them in my garage. Oh, wow. Nice. Must have so. got a good deal on them. The other you they were used. I was like screwed. I just didn't make a pass with them and call it a day. Nice. All right, so yeah, we got we got the X spell on. We uh, we're actually gonna clean it up here for him real quick. Uh, he had to come pick up the car before it was completely done curing, so we didn't have a chance to make it look pretty for him. So we're gonna do that now, and then he's gonna go and hopefully set the record for a uh, stock car in a quarter mile, right? Yep. Nice. Well, good luck, brother. Thanks, dude. I hope you kill it. Appreciate it. Let me know. Hell yeah. about this car so far? I don't know, man. I really don't. This, everything is awesome. Everything. All right, yeah. Can you show me the uh, the shifters on the steering wheel? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. It's weighed everywhere. Steering wheel, knee buttons. Whatever it's called, knee pads or whatever, and then door, 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 door. Um, obviously, all the seats are that, the dash <clears throat> here. The, the ambient lighting inside is ridiculous. All of this lights up. You can't see it here right now, but these, these light up around the screen lights up, the cup holders light up, and you can choose like 24 different colors. I mean, that's like new Camaros do that. Most new Camaros do that, but uh, the ZL1 gets your car seats. That's the difference. Nice. So. Pretty sweet, man. Sweet ride. Start this baby up. All right. Yeah, boy. Keep me posted on the night. Yeah, dude. All right, bro. Be safe. Thanks, man. Later.